Let's talk about diabetes or diabetes mellitus and let's talk about its drug therapy and management. And usually this type of management is employed if diet modification or exercise cannot control the blood glucose level of the patient. Remember that because the patient with type 1 diabetes uh, diabetes or diabetes mellitus cannot produce insulin in their body, um, insulin must therefore be administered for life. On the other hand, the patient with type 2 diabetes may have just a decrease in insulin production. Therefore, oral agents that can stimulate insulin production are usually the ones that are used. Now let's talk about insulin. Um, insulin could have three sources. It could be from humans, it could be from a pig, or it could be from a cow. Now in regards to its effect on the body, right, it has um, four most common um, onset of action, which is rapid acting, short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting. For the NCLEX, try to remember that only regular insulin can be used intravenously, okay? And when we are talking about mixed insulin, we are mostly talking about the 730 insulin, which is made up of 70% NPH and 30% regular insulin within the vial. Now let's go back for a second and compare the insulin peaks and onsets of the different types of insulin. Okay, now let's start with ultra-acting um, insulins. Um, an example of this is Lispro, and the onset would be 15 minutes while the peak would be for an hour. To see more videos like this or check out other NCLEX resources that can help you review for your NCLEX exam, please visit allnursingnotes.com. That's allnursingnotes.com.